Greetings one and all. Welcome back to another video. So, a read before you is uh, a menagerie of bits and bobs. Uh, and I think we should build another Space Marine. What do we think? I think so too. What we're going to do is we're going to take this easy to build um, sequitur, I believe, this chap here. And we are going to do some chopping, and we're going to do some green stuffing, and we're going to do some sticking down, and we are going to turn him into a Primaris Emperor's Champion. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, we need to um, adapt this uh, this sequitur. So we need to get rid of this head. We don't need that. Uh, we don't want these shoulder pads. What I have got in my little bit boxes that I found. A nice black Templar shoulder pad. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, throw it in. And I've got that one there with a nice sort of parchment on it as well. So that's cool. So we need to remove the arms and the shoulder pads and the head. Get it all glued together and then we're going to have to get some green stuff out. I'm going to have to rebuild um, a bit of this uh, tabard around here. We're also going to get rid of this little anvil. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the anvil? There you go, that anvil there. And we're going to replace that with, um, we've got some various relics and bits and bobs in my bits pile up the top here. And we're going to replace it with that. So let's get all those bits clipped off. Choppy, choppy. And then we'll get ready for green stuffing. Okie dokie. That's all the bits chopped off that we needed chopped off. And I've... Uh, coming close on this one there we go the uh little chain has been taken off and so is the little anvil i've also taken off the anvil at the bottom of that um what are they called tassel yeah tassel and there that's been removed the little daggery thing there has also been moved so we need to get this glued up when it's once it's set, we'll get some green stuffing and we'll clean up all this area here. We'll re-sculpt all this here and there. There you go, there and there. Get that all done. And then we'll be ready to start we're just gluing some bits on, I guess. So I mean that's the head. This is the head I'm going for because he's got like the, the sort of all-in-one sort of robe going on there. I've got found this head here. I think it's from the old um Dark Angel Veteran Sprue. It's got quite a nice little knightly head in there. It has got a little Dark Angel uh, Dark Angel symbol in there, which I might have to fill up with some green stuff or milliput so I can um, take that off. And then that will go in that way and we'll have him sort of standing up on something like so. Just sort out, stretch like that kind of thing. I think that'll look quite groovy. It's kind of like an on-guard pose, I guess. Maybe. Okay, so let's get him glued up. And then we'll get to green stuffing. So I guess we need to get some green stuff. And we need to build out this kind of six section around here to re-sculpt it in coming around. I've clipped away most of the back because that's where a backpack's going to go. So this sort of tabard bit here, you know, I'm just going to bring it around here. So let's get on with that. And get ourselves a nice sausage of green stuff. Mix it up. And we'll stick it on like so. Like Pull it round onto there. There we go. I've already filled in a bit there where well, there's a bit of a gap, so I've got some water here just off camera. Keep my tools nice and wet. We'll just blend that in thusly. Clean that off a bit. There we go. Then we'll go back in with some water. And then just flatten out that green stuff. Like so. Pull it around. Like so, thusly. Put it in over the front. 
Maybe off. Move my finger. Blend it in like that. Lovely job. And then the next thing then is just a sculpt in our folds and stuff. I might need a bit more around here. That's okay. We can add we can always add. In fact, I'm sure I'm gonna need some around here. Blend that in. A couple of blobs just added on, just to bulk it out a bit. And then we can start blending in those folds to the existing folds. And then we pull it back. Don't forget, a shoulder pad's also going to go here. So it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. But you want to get it as good as you can. There you go. I'm going to have to finish off the other side. And then we'll let it set and then we can move on just sticking bits on this bab. So the green stuff's all dry. I had a bit of a file over it a bit just to blend it in a bit more with the um, the plastic. But that's all done. So now we can get um, get gluing really. We, the, the rest of this build now is just a straightforward gluing parts. And so... Um, cleaned up a lot of the parts that we need, so his backpack's cleaned up, and his shoulder pads, holster, the little lantern here, that's going to go on, where is it, uh, it's going to go on there, it's going to look quite smart, um, I've got a, I've got an arm here to go on, that's going to have the, somewhere I've got uh, an open hand, so that's going to go like that to give him like a sort of off balance, you know, as if he's balancing himself out, Heads all cleaned up. So what we've got to look about is weapons. Now, I want to give can continue with this um, Crusader look. So I'm going to go with these types of gloves. Sort of, I don't know if you can see that. There we go, those types of gloves. So what I need to do is take off the little ball and socket joint. Take off the hands. Cut down the arms a little bit. Glue that bit on to the arm. And then glue the hands onto um, the glove. So that's that bit that's got the, there. And then on this one, I've got this arm here, uh, which I'll, I'll carefully, go on, focus, there you go. I'll carefully take the fusion, fusion pistol, flame pistol, whatever it's called. I'll carefully take that off. Um, well, actually, I'll just take the whole lot off about there, because then I'm going to use this arm, which has already got a sword in it, so it's in a nice pose. That sword's coming off, and then I've got this sword here from, I think it's from an Empire General, which is a bit more crusadery. That'll go on, or that'll go, whoop, and that'll go on like so. And that'll add to his pose, I think. Oh, yeah, I've also cleaned this up as well. That's going to go on his little, little reliquies, going to go on his backpack as well. So, let's get some glue. No, oh, sorry, I'm not on the camera there. Oh, yeah. One last bit. I've got some of these tassily bits here from uh, the Plague Monks. And they're going to go on, on on his belt there and sort of flow out with, with the, um, the um, what are they called? Flow out with the robes. And, yeah, they're going to be like his little purity seals. Well. So they'll go on as well. So I think they clip those off. And... Um, and get them on, get them cleaned up and get them on. So um, let's do that. Oh, let me clip it off there. That's one there. Uh, actually, let's do one there because I don't want to have two that are the same. So let's have that one as well. So we'll get them cleaned up as well and we'll get them on. Uh, I've got to do a bit of sanding around here as well, but you don't want to see that. So let's do that. Right. Gluing is um, going quite a, quite a pace. So I've got the little lantern on there, which is an official Black Templar piece, because I don't know if you can see at the top there, but that's actually got one of the little Maltese crosses. The holster is also Black Templar little cross on there, which is cool, and I've got those on as well, which look really smart. 
I've glued the little reliquy to the back of the backpack, so that's that done. That'll probably get painted separately, but will fit on the back like so. I've got to be slightly careful because some of these pieces are still still drying. But and can, can you? Oh, no, Steve. Da, 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 da. Like that. So that's good. So this arm, the left arm. So yep, his left. That's all done now. Made it a glove, and I've stuck on the hand. There you go. And then that's going to go on here, but obviously it needs to come out like that, in that position. So as you can see, there's going to be a. I need to trim away a little bit of plastic there, flatten it down, stick it on. And then I'm going to have to do a little bit of green stuff in just to fill that gap there. I won't go mad. I won't put like um, ribbing or stuff in it. Because I've got this little tilt shield, which will go here as well, just between the shoulder, the, the, the tabard and the shoulder pad. And that will cover it somewhat. So that'd be good. Um, so I've chopped down the right arm, taken off the hand. Like so. This gloved hand with the sword. And I've had the sword removed, so all I've got to do is move these bits out of the way. Take my knife, sharp knife, it's got a fresh blade in it. Bit of a cut on that side. Not too, don't want to go all the way through on one side, in case it goes off centre. And then all the way through, and then, not all the way through, but cut down on that side. Keep it, turn it round, cut down there. And then if you can, down from the top, and there it goes. That's all removed. And then that sword now can go, I can cut the sword, the hand off this sword. I'm probably gonna stick it straight to it. I probably won't pin it. Uh, I think it's got quite a flat surface. This will have quite a flat surface. That should be a good enough bond. If I, you know, if, if push comes to shove, I could, I could always pin it. At a later date, but we'll see. This guy's mainly going to be for display. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do Black Templars, but this guy is, you know, I wanted to make him out of all my bits. He is a bits box build, as it were. So we'll just file this down a bit. So we've got a nice, smooth area for a bond. Let's have a look. Oh, oh my God. There we go. Yep, that's fine. And then we'll just pop a bit of glue. And like so, and then the gloved hand can go on like so. And that will go on there. Again, I'm going to slice off a bit here to get a good bond and then a bit of green stuff, but that might be covered up by the time the shoulder bag goes on anyway. But if not, I'll just, I'll just put a bit of green stuff and possibly even another... Sort of, oh, there it goes. When does that go? Another purity shield type thing on there, or even a small one just to cover that up because you know, I want this to be as minimal, um, was it a minimal green stuff in as we can. So, I've got to let these bits and bobs dry off where I've just glued that, um, get the arms on, uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get the head on now, and then, then you know. We'll have a look at the finished miniature and blah, 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 the finished miniature. Miniature. There we go. Put my teeth in. We'll have a look at the finished miniature and then um we'll see about getting some throwing some paint up on him. Okay. Hammer then. Here he is. All glued up. Just blue tacked to the base at the moment and the backpack's just blue glued on. There we go. Uh, I'll change the shoulder pad here. Because I thought the um, the one with the scroll on was just a bit. It, it, there's, there's a lot going on. I thought that was just a little bit too busy. And you can see what I meant about the green stuff. You can hardly see it. So I'm not that bothered about that. That's you know, not be funny. That's gonna be black in there anyway. And then I've glued another one of those um, little strips on to make it like a purity seal. So there you go. I think what we should do. Bit of a close up there. There you are. Same round, there he is. Got 10% on his shoulder pad. 
Jobs are good in. Let's throw some paint on him and get him up on the rotisserie. 